Good day, everyone. So how to have descriptive statistics using Excel? Okay, so how to have descriptive statistics using Excel? So based on the given data, so on your menu bar, so click the data. And then from the upper right side of your screen, you will see the data analysis. So click data analysis. And then the data analysis dialog box will appear on your screen. So select the descriptive statistics and then click OK. For the input range, all you need to do is to select the pretest. So for respondent 1 to respondent 10. And then for the output range, so where you want to place your output. So it's up to you if, if you want to place it in the column E, F, or G. So for the benefits of this video, I'm going to select the column E, row 2. And then see to it that you check the summary statistics. Then click OK. And then you can uh, rename the column 1. So this is for the pretest. So it will give you the result for the mean, which is 14.6. Then we have here the median is 15. We don't have mode here because there is no repeating number in the pretest, or there is no repeating score in the pretest. And then we have here the standard deviation, which is the 4.92. Okay. So how about for the post test? So same procedure from your data. So click the data analysis. And then select the descriptive statistics. So click OK. And then for the input range, so this time you will going to select the post test for um, respondent 1 to respondent 10. And then for the output, output uh, where you want to place your output. And then so I will go to uh, select the column H row 2. And then, so see to it that you that is the check the summary statistics. Then click OK. And then there you have it. We have the descriptive uh, statistics for the post test, and it will give you the results for the mean, which is thirty-eight point three. We have here the median, which is 38.5, mode is 4 to 1, and the standard deviation is 5.27. So it also gave you the result for the sample variance for doses, skewness, the range, and the minimum and maximum sum and count. So I hope you learned something new on how to have descriptive statistics using Excel. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. God bless us all.